Okay, hello. Um, um, oh, hi, it's nice to be back again in Bangkok after all these years. Um, and uh, I've, I've been missing Bangkok, I've been missing Katrin de Mack, and uh, now it's great uh, that uh, Bits is back. All right, today I'm uh, talking about one of, um, um, one of the fun projects I did a couple of years ago for Sephora. Um, if you don't know what Sephora is, and uh, if you're of the male gender, there's a slight chance that you don't know what it is. Uh, it's the world's largest beauty retailer. So, <clears throat> and, uh, but before I, uh, uh, I, I talk a little bit, I'll, I'll tell you who I am. I'm the person in this industry with usually the longest name. <clears throat> so if you, if, you make, uh, if, you, if you organize a type conference, use my name for choosing the typeface, okay? Then, and it, Katz and Mark did a very good job on this one, so I have to, <laughs> have to admit it. Uh, in, in this, I very rarely I lose out against, uh, in this case, against Sumandri Samarvikrama. Um, but on <clears throat> not... I have, to, I have to add, not uh, by count of letters, but only by a few millimeters. I just lost by a few millimeters. Yeah. It doesn't happen often. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, all right, I do three things in my life. Uh, I, uh, the first thing is the Grafische is a, a, a school in Vienna, Austria, where I live. Um, and uh, I, most of you know me for my involvement with Glyphs, the font editor. But today I talk about Schriftlabor. Um, Schrift is German for font, and labor is the lab, the laboratory. So Schriftlabor, my foundry, translates to font lab in English. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. All right. Uh, flashback to 2014. Um, uh, uh, Schriftlabor did not exist yet as a foundry, um, and I got a call from, from this guy, uh, Matteo Bologna. Um, uh, some of you know him. Uh, he, uh, he used to be the uh, president of the TDC in New York City. Um, and he runs his own design studio, Mucha, uh, Mucha Design. And he called me, hey, listen. Uh, he has this uh, Italian-American accent. Hey, listen. Yeah? I just met the creative director of Sephora. They want to do, wanna do a font. Yeah? Okay. Oh, that's great. That's great. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's prepare. Let's, let's, uh, let, let's uh, prepare everything. Um, and um, I'll, I, 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 it's finally the chance to start my own foundry. And this, is, this was our fir my first project, actually, as a foundry. Um, and we need to sketch something and present it to them, and we, we need to, you know, suggest the price and uh, negotiate the contract. And of course, I cannot do this alone. This is a big project. I, I need to hire. Yeah? So I did all of this. So we started sketching right away um, over uh, Christmas and, 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 and New Year's Eve. Uh, and we got pretty far, actually. Plus, I've been looking around and I saw in, uh, collected inspiration in, in Vienna. Like, I saw these things, these signs. In, in, a, uh, in a hallway in a, in a turn of the century building in, in Vienna. I thought, wow, wow, great, we can use this as a basis for our figures. Fantastic. And so we, we were building first alpha versions of our uh, digital sketches and stuff. Plus, um, we were gonna, we knew exactly how we were gonna do it. We were offering like two packages and then the result would be something, a, a mix of both, like a minimum package and a maximum package. Like, uh, um, plus we, we knew uh, we have to communicate clearly to the client what's part of what we offer and what is not what they get so they don't just keep coming back. Oh, can you add this? Can you add this without paying for it? No, no, no. Um, and, um, and we knew, we knew from the start that they wanted uh, intellectual property to own the property. They, they wanted to own the fonts, right? So we had to consider this uh, when forming a price. And, and then we thought also, ah, we have to limit in the contract the number of revisions, otherwise they come back for us internally. And actually it turned out that was not the case. But, uh, um, so uh, out of this uh, came a spreadsheet that I still use today for calculating um, uh, projects. Yeah? So I can type in a few things and I know pretty much exactly how much uh, I'm gonna charge. Um, plus the time plan. Oh, uh, Matteo found a new tool online, and um, we knew. Uh, yeah, we, we said okay for each of the families. They asked for three families uh, at, uh, at first. Um, we would 
um, guaranteed 20 weeks, but would probably be quicker, um, depending on what it is. And what was very important, and that, that turned out to be uh, a really good uh, idea, is that uh, all the time plan starts ticking, the 20 weeks, start counting from the day we have an approval. We have a time, yes, we want this design. So after sketching, after presenting. Um, so this should not be part of the, the, the guaranteed timeline. So, um, and uh, otherwise, you know, the, the revisions uh, take forever and the decision takes forever. And uh, then you cannot guarantee uh, the time anymore. Plus, part of the time plan is not only what we deliver, but what the client, uh, the payments from the client, right? So. And yeah, and Matteo found this tool and we had it all worked out already. So we were all done and ready in, uh, oh yeah, one, uh, sorry, one thing, uh, I had to hire. I, I, I immediately knew um, who, who I'm, I'm going to hire. Uh, and I luckily, uh, three former students of mine from the school that you saw before, the, the Grafische, yeah, um, uh, the, the girl in the middle, Chiara, was my first hire right away uh, in January. Yeah? And uh, I think one or two months later, I, uh, Francisca on the right uh, followed up. She now works for Dalton Mark. Um, uh, when, when, when she left Schriftlabor, I told you, you can do anything you like, but don't go to Daltmark. And what did she do? Uh, so. Bruno, if you hear this ever, the, or see the recording. Yeah. You me. Okay. Um, and Igor uh, also. I think they were, uh, two of them were even in the same, um, uh, in the same class, in the same year. Uh, um, of them. So, and Igor, uh, uh, all, all former students of mine, and I knew they were going to be great. So, it was January 2015, like, just a couple of weeks later, and we were all ready. Hey, Sephora, we can start this, we can do this right now, here are your sketches, we, we, can, we can start now, we can, we can do it right away. What I underestimated was uh, the, all the administration, the contract work, the negotiations, and I, ah, this part, this took forever. Um, so we finally started, we had, we had the contract signed end of April, I think. Uh, then we had, there were additional contracts that, we, that, that took another one or two weeks or something. And, uh, and then we could finally start. So we had this planned at first. Uh, for, uh, for, uh, the, the sands was actually, <laughs> That was part of our sketches. The sands was already kind of done. I had the first, uh, uh, the first beta was already done when we started the project. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, and then we knew we had to, uh, actually also the, the, the display families, the display Roman and the display Italic, um, they, they, they had preliminary versions and we were able to deliver a beta of the display Roman in the same month still and the first beta of, um, of the italic uh, a little later. And then actually the text typeface, the text derivations, uh, the, the one you see here uh, down below, these are the text typefaces, um, they were actually an upsale we did like uh, very soon thereafter and they came after the summer. Um, so, develop so within the 20 weeks that we thought, you know, we were already kind of finished with it. <laughs> so, so the actual work that we do um, is 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 much much quicker. What we underestimated is the administrational stuff. Yes, um, to give you an idea what a beta looks like, this was the first version that uh, the client got to. Um, uh, to play with and see what, what they like and to give us feedback and stuff. Uh, you see, it's uh, actually quite a developed typeface already. It does not have any kerning, it did not have any accents, so no, no uh, special characters. It was missing a lot of uh, uh, symbols and stuff. Plus, it has a lot of issue, a uh, lot of issues. Plus, but what it did have was, uh, was interpolation. <laughs> so there, it's not, I, we were able to deliver four uh, fonts to them right away, right? The four first weights. But they were not perfect. There's a couple of mistakes. Um, uh, maybe you see them. Take a look at the ellipse, the three dots at the end. So let me go back. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> but nobody noticed. Okay. Um, and actually, also, if you look at the, at the quotes, they don't line up and things like this. Uh, and, and if you look closely, there's a lot of stuff that was not perfect. But it was the first beta, and they could start building um, like uh, collateral and, and, and stuff like this. Uh, 
communication with the client uh, and documenting the process uh, uh, was also, an, um, especially the documentation was a little unexpected. It was something we did not quite envision when we, um, uh, or we did not calculate the time for it. Um, um, but of course, we knew we would have to present. Um, but it turned out to be a little more intensive. Give you a few peeks uh, into this when we explained the design principles of what we do and uh, all this blah, 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 blah. Um, it, it, there's, there were hundreds of slides like this uh, when, we, uh, when we decided, uh, when, we, when we showed them um, stuff for decision making or this stuff. Uh, this is actually a, a condensed uh, version of many of the presented uh, uh, of the slides for the client that we later used for, um, uh, for an, an, uh, a blog post, I think. <clears throat> and um, yeah. And um, what, what, when we delivered them, uh, we would have to document uh, for them how to use them because there were th theoretically hundreds of people um, who would have access to the fonts, and they would have to know how to use them in Word and InDesign, etc., and especially how to use uh, the open type features because they are very, very hard to find uh, very often. And um, and we would explain how to install the font properly. So we would even have screen recordings like this. We built a website. Uh, uh, we even uh, we, we had a PDF manual uh, that had it all set up. Um, that, that was very intensive, and we didn't know we had to do this as well. So for the next time, I knew, OK, for documenting, we need to find the time. So time passes. Uh, client is very happy with the fonts and has been using the fonts. So there were two rollouts already. Uh, remember the first, uh, the, the sans and the two display typefaces were the first rollout. Um, and the second rollout uh, was uh, the, with the text typefaces. That gave us a chance to do the, the display and the sans uh, updated versions and find, finding mistakes and stuff um, and fixing mistakes, hopefully. But by mid-2016, uh, they were using it already. And, and it was really cool. Oh, fantastic, yes. And, and of course, like the, the longer you look at it, the, or as, as, you know, as the original designers, when you look at it, ah, oops, ah, mm, ah, we should do that serif a little different. <laughs> and of course, yes, great to see. Oh. And um, yeah, I have to tell you, in, in Austria, where I live, or where the whole design team uh, was based, um, there is no Sephora. There is no Sephora in Austria. So every t but at that time, I was traveling a lot for, you know, at conferences like this one, and everywhere where I went, where there was a Sephora, uh, I immediately, of course, I had to go there, right, and take pictures, uh, like this one, for instance. And I can tell you, I was the only man in in, in, the, in the store, and I was moving around, taking pictures, you know, like this, like this, like this, right? And within 30 seconds, I had somebody standing next to me, excuse me, sir, can I help you? <laughs> I said, oh, no, no, uh, don't worry, don't worry. Um, um, I, 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 I made this font. Uh, and, and, he said, and then the, the reaction was, you made this font? Good job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, and even saw it here in use in, in, in Bangkok. Um, the, the one at the top, uh, Sephora Beauty Pass, uh, is, is the display typeface, I think, uh, without, without kerning, I think. Um, <laughs> and also uh, down there in the uh, where it says Benefit Cosmetics, uh, among, uh, uh, between the, the Thai letters, um, uh, is the sense, but again, without uh, you see, a welcome gift. The WE has no kerning. So, but okay, can't have it all. And I've been told it, it, we did not deliver a tie with it. That was my kind, my hope that we could make an upsell at one point with different scripts, and um, this would have been my chance to finally work with the Katz and the Mac team together. Hey, we could do it, but they never. You know, uh, unfortunately, I think I've been told this is a free font, right? <laughs> oh no! So they paid a lot of money for the Latin, but uh, use a free font. And this I spotted in 
uh, in, in Kuala Lumpur, in Malaysia. And uh, of course, I said, oh, fantastic. And you do you. That's our font. That's our font. And then I looked, we've got, wait a minute, that's not our font. So they, <laughs> they mixed it with something completely different. Hey, you have a sans that's much better than. Okay. All right. Okay, mid 2016, uh, there was a third phase starting. They wanted a, um, a script typeface. Actually, they wanted two script typefaces. And uh, yeah, I put this into my um, uh, uh, spreadsheet, right? And I had a good price, right? And I said, ah, this is what it is. And I said, yes, yeah, perfect, yeah. And we started working. This was really difficult. So because, uh, I don't know why, but we had, we, it took forever. You see, this is one of the um, sample sheets we did. You know, we tried our handwriting uh, with it. And there, this is one sample sheet. There were thousands. I tell you, the, the office was covered in, in, in stacks of paper. Um, and we tried, we tried different styles in handwriting. And the client, no, no, no. It, uh, um, can it, it has to look like um, the, the best girlfriend of a woman uh, writing with lipstick on the mirror, get this product from Sephora. Yeah? So, yeah, okay, we tried everything. Yeah, eventually, and we asked, we asked friends, can you write these few words here? And um, eventually they settled for something. Um, Lucky, uh, what we could do thereafter is we built a skeleton model um, um, of this uh, with, and I wrote a lot of code um, in order to automatically expand it to this, um, this um, to get at least the first uh, feeling of what it's going to be. Of course, the automatic expansion is not perfect. You see a lot, oh, if you see the lowercase e, for instance, it's nah, not terrible, but uh, it was good enough to get a first impression and for the client to, to agree on something. Um, and to hand it off, uh, was able to do hundreds of, of, of versions because it was automated. Um, very good. Um, and eventually, it, uh, I spare you all the details, but it has a lot of contextual alternates, you know, letters that react to other letters. Uh, and, um, and it uh, turned out we had two, um, two script typefaces. Uh, that work uh, pretty well. But this was quite painful, and uh, I totally undercharged for it. <laughs> uh, because actually, like, for, for, each, for each letter, we had like four or five versions at least. And, um, all right. January 2017 is uh, when the deadline uh, for this was, and we had to deliver. We had to do the final delivery, a third delivery, and this again gave us the um, the chance to, to update the previous ones. And January 2017, ah, yes. Uh, remember, remember this president? Yeah, remember me? Yeah, I make the best chocolate, right? Yes, my chocolate has the most nuts. Yeah, has the best nuts. My chocolate has so much nuts. You could say, I am nuts. Right. So it was a new era in the United States. <laughs> I got uh, I got uh, Donald Trump chocolate as a pre present, um, and um, to recapitulate, uh, we we uh, we were able to to uh, to turn out new new versions and updated versions. We, we you know all the problems we saw the first time around in the in the collateral that we got from Sephora. I said, oh, uh, this service is wrong. We corrected uh, uh, this all, um, and we could update the, the, the first round of uh, or the original family. Right? Uh, plus, we could also update the, um, uh, the, 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 the text uh, typefaces. Um, and of course, uh, this time with, uh, with the with the script typefaces. And this completes the, the type system for Sephora, the Latin type system for Sephora. Unfortunately, it remained Latin. Um, and uh, yeah. And so the, the third and final uh, package delivery was done in, in January 2017. Jump to today. Um, and when, when preparing for this talk, right, I, I um, I, 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 was, I, I, I came here and I went to the store here, the Sephora store, and I looked around and <gasps> they're not using our funds anymore here. <laughs> yeah. 
And then I, I, I was totally flabbergasted. I, I looked on the website, and I scrolled around nowhere, and, and I found one thing that still used our phones. So, but for the most part, they seem to use uh, Helvetica and stuff, at least. Only this thing on the left side, Sephora collection, really good beauty, really good price. Right? This is where they still use our phones. I also, Matteo, Matteo did, 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 did they stop using our phones? Yeah, I noticed some changes here too. Oh no. <laughs> Two years we worked on, on, on this stuff. <sighs> All right. So when I got this, I had to, man, I need a sniff. Uh, so, you know, in your goodie bag, you got one of these uh, Thai sniffs. Ah, oh, so. <laughs> Fantastic. The, it's my fifth time in Bangkok. The nev you, know, you guys never told me about this. Now I'm hooked, you know. <laughs> but now it's in the goodie bag. <laughs> Great. Okay. Um, okay. To recapitulate uh, the uh, the lessons I learned, the things that you know when planning that turned out slightly different than expected. Um, uh, the resources for administration in mainly negotiating the contract. Uh, that I totally underst uh, underestimated that because usually if I you know. Uh, with, with friends in, in the industry. If we strike a deal, we sit down for 15 minutes and we know what we want from each other and everything's fine. It took f four and a half months or five months to, to negotiate with Sephora um, because there were a lot of people involved and the budget had to be approved and blah, 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 blah. So and it was not just one document, it was a, a subcontract. Yeah. And I, the best thing was I had hired already, and I was paying three employees, and I still didn't have the contract. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so next time, and um, yeah, this is the last line, don't rush when hiring. Yeah. So when you're still negotiating, uh, and uh, it's better once you have everything done, then you start hiring. And if, yeah, if, if the person you wanted to hire is not available anymore, so be it. Uh, whatever. You'll find somebody to work with in this wonderful industry. Um, yeah, and the other thing I learned, don't underestimate script typefaces. We updated the, um, the spreadsheet uh, with an option for script typeface with alternates, uh, alternates because in, in effect, you, you make a couple of fonts, really, because you have to have multiple versions for each letter. Right? And, so, and I totally undercharged that. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so next time I know. And uh, yeah, and the good thing was uh, every time uh, there was an upsale, there we expanded the family. Uh, that gave us a chance to update and fix the things we had in previous releases. <laughs> so pretty cool. And so in the end, the um, and plus we uh, all the collateral, all the posters, the printed and everything, they were like proofs for us. Fantastic. Okay. So thank you, Kapunka. Thank you.